Welcome to another episode of the Bible Says This. What say you? Psalms 33 verse 4. The A clause says, for the word of the Lord is right. Yes. Now I am accompanied today by, praise the Lord, the evangelist, missionary, mighty woman of God, wonderful wife, extraordinary mom, and my daughter, Evangelist Crystal Amachuku, and we are going to talk to you about something that's so very important today because some crazy stuff is going on, and we want to address it in this segment. So we're going to jump in. Crystal, thank you for coming. Thank you for Glad to have my daughter. Yes, sir. Glad now, to be here. How you doing? Doing well. God bless, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, it was brought to our attention that uh, uh, a gentleman, Eugene Patterson, Eugene Patterson, extraordinary man. Uh, former pastor of the uh, uh, Presbyterian pastor, uh, writer of yes. the Message Bible, the Message Bible. Uh, had uh, uh, temporarily, uh, or is he's off his rocker to some degree, and we want to talk about what happened because this is this is this is out here, and we need to talk about this. And there's some scriptures that deals with this. Yes, now, sir. what what did Eugene do? Well, first of all, thank you again for having me. It's always a pleasure thank to be you, here with you. Uh, Mr. Eugene Peterson is the author of the Message Bible, and he had an interview with um, Jonathan Merritt from the Relig Religious News Service, and he asked him about his views about same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. um, and from Mr. Peterson's words, he presumed that he asked him about his views on same-sex marriage because he comes from the Presbyterian Church, All right. which, as you know, now uh, affirms same-sex marriage and allows their clergy to perform same-sex weddings. My and Lord. so in his original statement, in his response, he said, I wouldn't have said this 20 years ago, but now I know a lot of people who are gay and lesbian, and they seem to have as good a spiritual life as I do. I think that kind of debate about lesbians and gays might be over. People who disapprove of it, they'll probably just go to another church. So we're in a transition, and I think it's a transition for the best for the good. I don't well, think that it's something you can parade, but it's not a right or wrong thing as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so then based on his, uh, his own words, his personal lifestyle, not the Bible, right. is the standard. Right. If they're as spiritual, if they have a spiritual life that, that is as good as his, right. then their spiritual life is all right. But, but not if they have a spiritual life that is as good as the Word of God. Absolutely. Or that teach what the Bible teaches. Right. So he has become, according to his own words now, the new standard. And he declares that same-sex marriage is not a right nor a wrong issue. Right. So he's God. Well, to, to make that statement, you'd have to think that you're God because yeah. God has already made it clear Amen. that marriage is between a man and a woman and sexual behavior is mm -hmm. supposed to be between a man and a woman. Right. And so for anyone to say otherwise, we would be setting ourselves up to think that we are God. Right. That's not a position that we can take. Now, I understand that uh, this, uh, this, uh, this man, I almost said this God, small G-O-D, has changed his mind or done some uh, what of a uh, of a reversal yes, what sir. what what took place yes sir well on july the 13th uh they released a story with charisma i believe mm -hmm. with charisma absolutely with charisma and it says that he is now retracting that statement and then yesterday or the day before that on the 12th lifeway uh, made a statement that they were going to pull all of his all of his materials from the shelves. God uh, bless Lifeway. Yes, sir. Praise yes. the Lord. <laughs> yes. I'm going to Lifeway today. <laughs> Go buy something from Lifeway. Patronize Lifeway. Hallelujah. Now, now, what happened, Christian? Absolutely. And so then he came back and made a different statement. Okay. Um, and I'm Do I hear the OJs? Words. Do I hear the <laughs> dum 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 money 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 money. money. <laughs> it's all yes. oh God. This is bad. Yes, sir. What did he do after Lifeway flexed their muscles? Yes, sir. And thank God for them. Uh, he made another statement. He said, to clarify, I affirm a biblical view of marriage, one man to one woman. I affirm a biblical view of everything. 
He said, it's worth noting that in my 29 year career as a pastor and in the years since then, I've never performed a same sex wedding. I've never been asked and frankly, I hope I never am asked. This reporter, however, asked a hypothetical question. If I were pastoring today, and if a gay couple were Christians of good faith, and if they asked me to perform their wedding ceremony, he says, if, if, if. Right. And, he's, and how can you be a, a homosexual couple and be a Christian, Christian of good, good faith? faith? That's correct. <laughs> okay. That is correct. That's not possible. Not possible. So pastors, he says, don't have the luxury of indulging in hypotheticals. And to be honest, no is not a word I typically use. <laughs> it was an awkward question for me because I don't do many interviews at this stage in my life at 84, mm. and I am no longer able to travel as I once did or accept speaking requests. He said, with most interviews I've done, I gen generally ask for questions in advance and mm. respond in writing. Mm. Okay. That's where I am most comfortable. Right. And when put on the spot by this particular interviewer, I said yes in the moment, but on further reflection and prayer, I would like to retract that. No, on further, on, as he thought about what he would lose from Lifeway, he <laughs> says, I want to retract it. Now, it's not as though a Mr. Uh, uh, Peterson, Peterson was asked a difficult question. Right. It wasn't as though it was a depth, an in-depth question. Right. And he even says this, he hopes that he's never ever asked to perform a same-sex wedding. Right. Well, no is a word that I use often. Yes, no. Sir. God yes, says no. Yes, Parents sir. who love their kids say no. All the you time. Have two, you have two, <laughs> I got three beautiful grandbabies. You, yes, give me, you, and you, you and your husband give me three beautiful grandbabies. Yes, and sir. I've heard you often say no. I have to sometimes. You have to do that. Yes, sir. Uh, so this man here says that he, uh, no is not a word that he typically uses. And he mentions his age, you know, in my life at 84. Now, with all due respect to people who are uh, the aging population, which I'm a part of, if, if you live, you're going to get old. The only way to prevent aging is to die young. Yes, sir. But there is something to be said for recognizing when you perhaps need to retire from the battlefield. Right. Now, it happened in the scripture. Uh, David in uh, 2 Samuel Chapter 21, when he went out to fight, he got tired. The Bible says in verse 15 mm -hmm. that David waxed faint on the battlefield and that uh, 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 Abishai, the son of Zariah, had to step in and fight for David and rescue him. And the Bible says after that, then the men of David swear, and swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us mm -hmm. to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. They were saying, Sir, you are so valuable to us spiritually. You are so valuable to us uh, politically. Your mind, mm -hmm. you are so valuable to us in these areas that we don't want you on the battlefield field fighting anymore perhaps it's time for mr uh, uh, peterson to get off the battlefield because when you look at what he said these statements it's hard to believe that they came from the same man right. and and it wasn't prayer that that changed his mind it was life way with uh, uh, flexing their muscles and when he saw uh, 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 forgive me but when he saw the money that he was about to lose and the notoriety then he he made this retraction when perhaps maybe somebody should have been there with him to help him on the interview right. to step in and say you know you, you can't say these things mm -hmm. and even in his in his correction he brings up something that's not doable. You can't be a homosexual couple in good standing. Right, right. That's like saying you can be a, 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 a murderer in good standing, a good Christian killer, a good Christian right. saved, that's sanctified thief. Right, you cannot do Can that. Can you do that? No, sir. <laughs> Not with the spirit of God living on the inside of you. And then what we're called to do, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And so if I want you to perform a mm. wedding, it's one thing to have struggles. We all have our struggles. We all have our demons. Right. But if I'm asking you to perform my wedding right. in a certain lifestyle, that mm. means I'm not trying. That means I'm married to my right. to my sin now. Right. 
And right. so we are called to to strive to toward holiness, to strive to be like Jesus mm. in every way possible. Mm. So being a Christian in good faith, but yet out of the will of God in any regard is not possible. Then we then as a pastor, we have to pray and check check your walk with the Lord right, and make sure right. you're in the right place with Jesus Christ. Wow. So I guess if, if you can be a Christian in good faith, you can be a terrorist in, in good faith with America and you, you, you believe in America, you love old glory, and yet you, 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 you're preparing to, to, to murder people through an act of terror. This makes no sense whatsoever. And listen, we got to be careful. Revelations chapter 22 tells us clearly in verse 18, it says, uh, For I testify unto every man mm -hmm. that heard the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues mm -hmm. that are in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life mm -hmm. and out of the holy city from and from the things uh, that are written, which are written in this book. You can't play with the Bible, and we can't have people who have written Bibles. Right. See, this right. is the thing about this. Uh, this is the author of the, the, the message. The message Bible. The yes, message sir. Bible. Uh, taking a turn like this and began to affirm a lifestyle that God calls wicked. We have here, uh, uh, Crystal, we, we had said we we're going to wait on this, but mm -hmm. we have just a few more minutes. We have here a parent fight to omit gender on, on a birth certificate mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, of the child's birth because we have here a, a look, it says a parent in, uh, in BC, that is British Columbia, mm -hmm. uh, Soul Con Valley is fighting to omit child's, excuse me, child's sex on birth certificate as part of a broader effort right. to keep gender from mm -hmm. being included on government documents. Now look at how determined these people mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. to, to do this. And on our side, That's we right. got Christians who are buckling, they're folding like cheap tents and just folding on, I mean, the basic, basic issues basic issues mm -hmm. this uh, uh would you read this uh, little line right here sure Corey Doty mm -hmm. gave birth to Surreal Atley at a friend's house last November. Mm -hmm. Doty, a non-binary trans parent who doesn't identify as either male or female. A woman. Doty was a woman who had who, who gave birth to a child. Go yes. ahead. And prefers to use the pronoun they. Right. Wants to keep Surreal's gender off all official records. Now, if this is not child abuse, what is? That's abuse. Uh, now, 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 mind you, these are the people Mm -hmm. who tout choice. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Choice, choice, choice. Mm -hmm. But she gives her child no choice. No choice. We, you were uh, it when you were born. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, can you imagine? A they. A, a, a they. Uh, uh, you're not even a person. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the effect that this would have on the child? And I think that things like these are trial balloons. These are things that are put out there mm -hmm. to see how people are going to respond. And I want to say to the Christian community, the worst thing that we can do on these things uh, is to be silent. Or to just ignore it. And we're going to talk about more important topics like being blessed, mm -hmm. getting a miracle, yes, getting a healing. You know, things that really matter. God giving us a bigger car. God giving us a, a, a bigger house. And the Lord giving us more suits. Mm -hmm. and, and the Lord, the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we're getting into all these deep things while society is changing around us. And if these people had their way, we would lose our religious freedoms. Absolutely. I think it's a blow, Crystal. Give me your thoughts on this. It's a blow to the cause of Christ when we see Christians uh, who have been examples like Peterson mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. things like this. Well, it absolutely is. Uh, as you know, my husband is the youth pastor here at the church, mm -hmm. and we both work in young adult ministry. We work in young adult ministry in the international church. And 
dealing with young adults and millennials, these are some of the defining topics of our day. Right. Uh, we are hands-on doing ministry, teaching high schoolers, teaching college students wow. how wow. to defend the faith against their professors, amongst their peers, so on and so forth. Um, and I think people know in general that we mm -hmm. need to prepare millennials and that millennials don't have the same biblical beliefs. But when you see someone who is, um, I guess, of, of, of another generation right. and who is so experienced in the faith that they have a, they are author of a Bible, when you see this type of a person vocal mm -hmm. on the faith, it becomes of even more concern. You say to yourself, well, how do we expect the 15-year-olds, the 18-year-olds, the 20-somethings to be able to represent the faith that this person cannot? Excellent. Well, we're out of time. She said it, and she's right. And listen, the Bible says this. What say you? We're talking about millennials. We got grown folk losing their minds. Pray for us. Stand on the word of God. Thank you, Crystal. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank God you. God bless. God bless.